This is called a fork. It is when a piece is attacking multiple targets at one time. Most of the time, a knight is doing the forking, but other pieces can as well. This type of fork does not have a specific name, but among fellow chess players, we call it the octopus. It looks just like an octopus with eight appendages. The octopus attack fully illustrates the full power of the knight by attacking eight pieces at once. There should definitely be more names like this since it would make chess way more fun to learn. This is called a royal fork. It is when the king and queen are attacked simultaneously. The king is in check and must move since it cannot be lost. Then white captures the queen, winning material. Oh, what a noble sacrifice the queen has made. She sacrificed herself so that her king could live. It is so poetic. Let us forget about chess and write about it. I'm just kidding. Let us move on to the next fork. This is called a basic knight fork. There really is no name for it, but I had to call it something. It is basically any knight fork that is not a royal or octopus fork. I will be showing you a couple examples of these to see if we can find a better name for it. Not really. I just really want you to understand this concept. So here the knight moves and attacks both the rook and bishop, winning a piece. I will now introduce you to a new type of knight fork. This is called the dragon knight fork. It really is not called that, but it sounds amazing, so I'm going to go with it. Can you spot the winning move here? It is white's turn to move, and I'm going to give you five seconds to spot the move. You can always pause the video to take more time as well. Alright, the correct move is knight to d3, forking both the bishop and the queen, winning a piece. Let us go over one more knight fork, just for fun. You should also give it a name. It will help you to remember this concept. And once again, you have five seconds to find the correct move, but you can always pause the video for more time. The correct move is knight s6, forking both the bishop the rook and the pawn. Black is therefore going to win one of those pieces. I just came to a fork in the road and had to choose whether to talk about the bishop or the rook first. After some thought, I went with the rook. To review, a rook moves as many squares as possible up, down, left, and right. It is Black's turn to move, and he wins by forking the king and the bishop. The king must move, as it cannot be lost. Then we capture the bishop, winning the game. Here is yet another example of a rook fork. If we look at this position, white is currently down by a piece. Is there any way for him to fork two of black's pieces with his rook and thus save his game? I will give you five seconds to look for a way to help white, and as always, you can pause the video for more time. The correct move in this situation is to play rook to c6, forking both of black's bishops, and thus saving the game. Bishop forks. 
I am going to tell you a pretty funny joke about bishops. If you lose your bishops in the game of chess, then your army will lose its faith. Just another reason to keep your bishop around. White wins this game by forking both the bishop and the rook. Bishop d4. Now the king and the rook are under attack. After the king moves, simply capture the rook and white will easily win this. If we count up the material, we can see that black is down by two pawns. He has a bishop worth three pawns versus a rook worth five. To save this game, black needs to come up with a tactic to win back material. Do you see how he can fork the rooks to equalize this game? I will give you five seconds to find the correct move. The correct move is bishop to d4, forking both of the rooks. The queen is the most powerful piece on the board, which also makes it an excellent forking piece. Here is yet another joke. If you remember, the knight is the only chess piece that can jump over other pieces. So, some would argue that it is even more powerful than the queen, since it goes over the top. Alright, let us examine how the queen forks. We can play queen to e3 here, attacking both the king, the knight, and the rook, winning material and uh, thus winning the game. Let's look at one more example. In this position, it is Black's turn to move, and I want you to find the winning solution. Look at all of the possible queen moves and see how it can attack two pieces at the same time. I want you to pause the video to really take your time and find the correct move. After five seconds, I will reveal the solution. All right, the correct move is queen to d4, attacking both the knight and the rook, winning material. 